Hi everyone. This is Sandy with Mimi's Abundant Life and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I know I am and I am doing some prep but I'm doing it very lazy prep today and um, I do have um, some fibromyalgia and um, osteoarthritis in my spine and I have chronic fatigue syndrome but my mind is always going on how I can prep and be prepared and still do things productively. Um, and my days usually have to go according to how I feel. So sometimes I don't get a video out. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do two or three of them. Um, sometimes I'm rearing to go. Today I'm rearing to go, but I'm sitting down. And that's just the way my body is today. <laughs> so I wanted to just um, chit chat with you all, everyone, and let you sit in on what I'm doing today. I am, I think I'm going to call this video my lazy day prep. And it's just sitting down doing easy things, but still prepping and keeping that mindset. Um, I have a few things on my list that I need to do today. So I'm going to start with the first thing I'm doing. I have some shredded mozzarella I got from Aldi's. Um, so it's two pounds. And I have some cheddar, shredded cheddar. Now, it's not the absolute best cheese in the world. Um, and the reason I like to keep it in the house is because it's shredded and it freezes well. So instead of like just taking out or opening a bag from the freezer for just a handful or so of whatever it I'm using it for, which I haven't really been using that much because um, watch that cholesterol. Um, I like to pack it up in little bags and freeze it. Now, I don't know if you recognize these bags, but I got these at the Dollar Tree in the fall. Um, it was for a project that I was doing and I never did it. Um, and what I did a couple months ago, and I'll do another video, and I'll, I will um, be a little more, um, I'll give more information on how to do what I'm going to do with it. But I've used these before. So what I'm going to do is fill them up with cheese, okay? And then I'm going to, like, flatten them down, get the air out. I'm not going to measure and mock on there. How much cheese is in there? I know by just doing an eyeball what I how much I need for what. So when these are done, they're going to go into a large zipper freezer bag and um, freezer quality, and it will go in my deep freezer. And I should have enough cheese because I have a lot down there, um, but I'm going to have a lot of cheese. So when I want to do an omelet or a small quiche, or sometimes I just want to do. Um, if I'm having guests or something and I want to do um, like a big ZD type thing, I can do just sprinkle it on or chicken parm, something like that. So, yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, I've got something else I could show you. Um, this is the kind of cheese most Italian Jews on their, on their pasta, or we call it macaroni. <laughs> um... So what I'm going to do is, I can't stand sitting there grating it at the table. So I'm going to um, cut these up into small chunks. I have a couple of them. I'm going to put them in a blender, and they're going to get really, i um, going to grind them up in the blender, my electric blender, really well. And um, I'm going to put it in a mason jar and then put it back in the fridge, and it should last a real long time. Um, this has to be refrigerated, this kind of cheese. Project number three. I am going to be chopping up more celery, um, and I will freeze it. Now, I had some cut up, uh, washed, cut up fine, and frozen, but I used it in a soup I did last week. So I think I'm going to sit and do some of that, and my onions. I am trying to decide if I would like to do um, some dehydrated or just chop and freeze. So these are just some little things that I'm going to be doing today. There's one bag that's just about done. I'm just going to get all the air out. That's all. 
and it flattens out. You get the air out, it keeps it fresher and um, takes up a lot less room too. You'd be surprised with that little bit of air. Could I vacuum seal this? I don't know. Can you vacuum seal tiny little amounts? I have no idea. I don't own a vacuum sealer. Um, kudos if you do. Um, but this is how I freeze my cheese. Um, the celery, I just um, will chop very finely. Always, I put it in a glass so it makes it easier to stand up. Yeah, the celery I will chop, um, probably flash freeze it and just throw it all in a baggie. Then I can get like a scoop or something and just take out what I need when I need it. Um, I think it's nice to have for the summer, um, like different kinds of salads and potato salads and, and things like that. So, I never, um, you never have enough celery. It's the one thing this year too that I didn't grow. So that's what I'm doing today, and I also just wanted to say hi, and if you like my video and you want to see more of them, please don't forget to tap the icon bell and uh, stop by, keep me company. I hope I keep you company while you're doing your preps and whatever it is you have going around your little house. Um, I don't know what else to say except that with everything that's going on, you know, part of me wants to say, well, if you don't know by now, there's no sense in me telling you. And I just want to give up, not say a word, and walk away from some people who just don't want to see what's really happening. Um, we're in for some major food shortages. I mean, you can see it happening. What we're eating now is things that were farmed and processed and, and produced a year ago. So now, if this year there's all these troubles with supposedly the bird flu and swine flu and monkeypox and um, fertilizer shortages and seed shortages and farms being brought up by the, the red country over there um, for double their price, um, we're not going to be getting in any more wheat. I mean, if you don't know what's going on by now, you really need to think that these shortages are going to affect us next year. Now, does that mean take a whole year to get prepped? No. No, it does not. You need to do something, and you need to do it now. And you need to start stocking your food. Um, figure out, even if you just figure out your meals that you like, try to make it things that you like. I know that there's survival food and beans and rice. Of course, you're going to have that in stock, but take at least five to ten of your favorite meals. Figure out how many times a month that you and your family like to enjoy those meals. And make sure you have enough in, of those supplies and those ingredients um, right down to aluminum foil, uh, bags, anything that you need to put that meal together. And Try to have at least a couple of months worth. I, I can't I can't stress that enough that just because you see it in the store now doesn't mean it's always gonna be there. What you see now is what we had from a year ago. Don't ever go by the store as a gauge to what's really going on. You need to watch the news, pay attention to preppers, and um you need to read. You need to read between the lines. How much longer do you think the truck drivers are going to be willing or able to deliver things to stores with diesel prices the way they are? So let's talk Amazon. Yeah, you could order from Amazon. You could order from Walmart. You could order from Target. It might save you gas. But it's going to drive up the price of the diesel. And the longer this goes on, the higher it's going to get. I paid $4.89 at a self-service gas station near my home a couple of days ago. My neighbor went there the day after, and it had gone up to five ten. So you need to keep things into perspective. We are not crazy. I don't wear an aluminum hat. I don't have a lot of money. 
but I am blessed and I am blessed with the discernment that God has given me to see what's happening and to take the steps that I need to take. I don't know how long this is going to last. I think we're in this for the long haul, um, personally. So I don't know what to tell everybody, but just get your food. Buy personal hygiene products. Buy your seeds, both garden seeds and freedom seeds. And um, pray. Don't be afraid to help someone when they come to your door. There are people who are going door to door asking for food already in exchange for doing odd jobs. So this administration, they can turn a blind eye if they want, but you have to remember where they're coming from. This is part of their agenda. They're the elite who can afford $64,000 for an electric car. When most of us can't afford to put gas in our 10 year old car to do errands, to pay the car insurance, um, to put food on our table, to go to work. People have to work. This is a trickle down effect. Everybody is gonna be affected by this. And contrary to what Brandon says, it's gonna hurt a lot more than they're saying. And it's gonna be a lot longer than they're letting us know. So I just wanted to take some time, very calmly. Um, I don't I don't like being the Debbie Downer. <laughs> And that's one of the reasons why I hadn't done any videos in uh, about a week or so. I think I did one. Um, it just get, it gets depressing. So I will periodically do a prepping video. And most of it is going to be about my abundance and what God has blessed me with and my, my abundant life. Because that's the name of this channel. Mimi's Abundant Life. Not Mimi's Prepping Life. If I wanted a lot of likes and subscribers, I could do prepping videos, stockpile videos, um, survival food videos, um, freedom seed video. I could do anything and I could get the thumbs up. I could get the views and I could get the subscribers. What I won't do is fall into that trap. Yes, we need to be prepared some people need it in their face every day, but the majority of us see what's going on. So once in a while, like I said, I'll do a prepping video. Um, but I'm going to stop focusing more on everything God does have out there for us and everything that we are blessed with and the skills and the mindset that we are blessed with. So, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Stay away from the news. Stay informed, but stay away from the news. <laughs> I'll watch it a few minutes, get the headlines, figure out what's going on, and turn it off. Um, get outside, go for a walk, take your dog for a walk, go for a walk with your kids. If you're an empty nester, uh, you know, hold your wife's hand and go for a walk. Go for a walk by yourself. Talk to your neighbors, just say hello. Get to know them. Stop and smell the roses. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day. And um, I'm going to sign off. And I'm going to ask you that if you like my video, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, you know, please uh, hit the icon bell. And you will subscribe to my channel. And you'll get all my latest updates. So I am going to finish my lazy day prep and I'm going to enjoy my afternoon. When I am done with this, I'm going to go sit in my garden and read my Bible. 
So I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I love you all. I, I have a, a, a big heart for people. And um, that's it. I just hope everyone has a great day. I love every single one of you. Go tell your friends to like and subscribe to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. God bless you. Bye-bye.